Now, Readsy has a free and easy to use writing app for those who are eager to craft their novels. Amazon, unfortunately, is one of the largest book selling platforms on the internet. I'm Mike with Writer's Saint Train. Today, I'm going to show you how to export your novel from Readsy to use in Kindle Direct Publishing. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you have a KDP account and are ready to go. But before we get started, there is some important elements you'll need to know. Firstly, Kindle books don't require an ISBN numbers. That means you can immediately export your book from Readsy and upload it to Amazon. Your printed books do require ISBN numbers. However, you can use the free ISBN from KDP or enter your own. Now, essentially, this means that you can only use your ISBN from KDP on Amazon. This means you cannot use the ISBN for any other platform for printed books, such as Barnes & Noble. On the other hand, if you acquire your ISBN from a brokerage site, you can use that number on any platform. They're just more expensive, especially if you want hardcover ISBN that Amazon supports. But why is this important? Well, because I'm going to show you how to properly export print versions of your book as well as ebook. So let's get started and export the ebook first. Now, the first thing you need to do is select the book you want to export. Now, I've got five in my account. I'm working on Shadows of Atlantic City and Fury. Freelancers, Talent, Kingmaker are already published. So I'm going to use one of those as an example. So first thing we're going to do is hit the Manage button. And then from here, we're going to click on Export to the top. Now we have our export options. In this case, we're going to be doing an EPUB. And we're going to scroll down to the book cover if we have one. Um, if not, you can go ahead and enter it here. You have a few formatting options for your ebook. You can either hide chapter numbers or and or include drop caps if you'd like. When you scroll down, you got your templates here. You got three different templates from Readsy. Not a lot, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm hoping they add more in the near future. But in this case, I exported Kingmaker in the Readsy Merryweather font, but you also have Classic or Romance. Personally, I'm just going to use Readsy. Then if we've chosen our template, we can click on export book. Now the book is being typeset by Readsy and it will send you an email as soon as it's ready. Or you can go back to Readsy after a few minutes and see if the book has been compiled. But since this is a relatively short book, I think there's like 36,000 words to it, it won't take very long for Readsy to compile it into an EPUB. From here, we just click on the download button and save our file to our computer. So the download is a zip file. You just unpack your manuscript into a folder on your computer and then upload that to Kindle Direct Publishing when you start submitting your book information. Despite some of the issues that people have with Amazon, Kindle Direct Publishing is pretty intuitive and it's fairly easy to use when you upload your book information. Okay, so what about print versions of your book? Well, that's a little bit more tricky. Now, if you use the free ISBN from Amazon, you can use that number in Readsy. Now, this is important because you have to make edits to your manuscript before you can export. The ISBN number needs to match what's in the Readsy export from the PDF on what it has for Kindle Direct. Now, essentially, the process is the same aside from that one extra step. So let's go ahead and add our ISBN number to the file. So the first thing we're going to do is go back into your books Okay, for this example, I'm going to use Kingmaker to show you where the ISBN goes into your book. So we click on, uh, just click on the book, and Readsy will open in the first page that you last had open. In this case, I had the copyright window open because I exported my book as a print file. But if you're like on chapter three or whatever, just click on the copyright on the top left, and then paste your ISBN from KDP right there in print. Now you're not going to be using a Kindle because a Kindle is an e-reader, so you don't use that number. You use the print number instead. And Readsy will take a split second to autosave, which it does all the time anyway. Now sometimes it is a little bit slow, but it never takes longer than a few seconds to save your settings or any kind of writing you do. At which point you go back to your bookshelf and you click on manage for your book. Click on the exports. And this time we're going to select a print ready PDF. That's going to open up more options. We're going to scroll down. And from here, it's the same thing as before. We got our book cover. If we decide to add one in the settings, uh, the formatting options, if you want to select either one of those. Or this time around though, we have trim sizes. Now Readsy has four standard default trim sizes you can add or use. Trade six by nine, digest five and a half by eight and a half, a Readsy standard, which is five by eight. And if I remember, remember right, that's what uh, Freelancer's Tale was published as on Kindle Create. 
and a pocket which is four and a quarter by 6.87. So pick the size that works best for you. For my latest book of Kingmaker, I export it as a trade at six by nine. And then we just have the standard choose a template that we had in the ebook version. So reads the classic and romance. All it really does is change how the layout of each chapter appears. I did Kingmaker in Reedsy's Merryweather. And that's all the settings you have for Reedsy. It's kind of a bummer that you don't really have a lot of formatting options in Reedsy. That's one of the things why I like Atticus so much is because with Atticus, the formatting options are just insane. Luckily, you can export your book from Reedsy into Atticus, format it, export it, and then upload that to Amazon. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. But once we're ready, we just hit our export book button here, and it does the same thing as the ebook. It formats it and gets it ready, and it'll Reedsy will send you an email as soon as your file is complete. So we just close that, we scroll up, and we can actually watch it in development. And once it is complete, we're able to download it. We also get an email that gives us a download link from that. And that's all there is to it. Like the EPUB version, you'll get a zip file that you can export that manuscript into your computer and then upload that to Kindle Direct. Now, when you want to export a hardcover, it works the exact same way. It's just remember to go in and in the copyright page, change that number to your ISBN for the hardcover. Because if that number doesn't match, Amazon will put your book back into draft mode until you fix it. Now the hardest part is filling out all the information for KDP, but that is all up to you and how you want your book set up. Just remember that book covers are going to vary wildly between ebook, paperback, and hardcover versions. And KDP isn't the most intuitive when it comes to its cover creator. It is a pain to master. But that is a story for another time. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. For more videos about self-publishing, blogging, freelance writing, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That's going to do it for me today. I'm going to get back to writing my book. I'll see you next time.